Howdy folks, Ron Raper here. Well, I, uh, I went out to the uh, Perope uh, facilities um, last night and uh, I got a little off on my, uh, with my uh, directions and I ended up, I think, it was called Baker, California. And I was supposed to turn off way back somewhere else, but anyway, I, uh, I uh, <clears throat> made an error, and it cost me about, it cost me a couple hours. Uh, I went way out of my way. Felt a little stupid, but anyway, uh, managed to managed to find my way. And I don't think it really would be that hard to find. I think I just uh, uh, looking back at my map, I. I think I know what I did wrong, but I, anyway, um, I made it. I made it out to the uh, facilities where the Bundys are being held. And uh, I had the pleasure to meet with John Lamb and the other uh, um, uh, protesters that are standing out there and supporting the Bundys. Um, I, uh, I pulled in last night and, and probably about well, close to 10 o'clock and anyway there were still a few of them that were up and John was up and he was, he was really nice to me and got me all, uh, told me where to, where would be a good place to park and just a real nice man and, and talked with, I talked with him for a little bit, we um, shared a few things and not for very long because it was getting late and everybody's kind of wanting to turn in but and uh yeah i got in kind of got unpacked and and uh tried to i i just threw a bunch of stuff in a hurry together in a hurry and i had a uh a, a cot that has a rain protection over it and i couldn't figure out how to get that in the dark i couldn't figure out how to make it work so i slept in the back of my truck wasn't all that bad and dodge Big Dodge uh, Dooley, it's, yeah, it was, it wasn't too bad. I, I think that uh, my discomfort was nothing compared to what uh, Ammon went through, being put in a little three foot by three foot cell for 13 hours with no place to, uh, uh, go to the bathroom, but right there with his hands cuffed behind him, with his legs and ankles in shackles, and um, no way to go to the bathroom, but just to have to go, you have to urinate on yourself or whatever else you got to do. You just, what are you going to do? But uh, anyway, and that's after they beat the heck out of him before they threw him in there. And, Apparently he had a dislocated shoulder or, or shoulders. I, I, I don't know if it was both of them. But anyway, it was a bad deal, and that's why people are up. One of the reasons that people are just up in arms and out there protesting is because of the cruel treatment that um, Ammon has suffered. Uh, a, an innocent man that he's not been convicted of a crime. He's being held... Um, without bail, apparently, and um, yeah, I just don't, I don't, I don't quite get it. He's not convicted of a crime. They're basically torturing him in there, and um, uh, they have, they haven't given it, haven't given the bunnies a speedy trial. I mean, these guys are, these guys are good guys. They're um, standing up for the Constitution. Apparently that's what landed them in there. Um, and um, standing up for the constitutional rights of others. And so they've, uh, they've really stood firm and now the supporters are standing firm for them. Um, they, uh, they're determined 
these guys that I talked to out there uh, that have been uh, uh, supporting supporting the the Bundys and the other political prisoners. These guys know the Constitution. Seem to know the Constitution pretty good. They they get they're getting pretty well educated. And they're also trying to educate the public, and they're also trying to educate um, those in power, uh, the law, uh, even judges. And so it seems like somewhere along the line, the, something happened. Uh, the, the Constitution kind of been slipping away. And so, anyway, I think it's... Uh, it's good that they're trying to educate, and I think it'd be good that we all get educated in the Constitution. Uh, we're losing it if we haven't lost it, <clears throat> um, and we're going to be, I think we're going to be real, real sorry once it's gone. Because I don't think there's ever going to be any getting it back. And anything that's going to take its place, uh, like that, I don't think you're going to want so I, I hope people start getting educated. Um, I hope they support the Bundys. And, and I was out there and I took pictures and videos and stuff. Uh, not the greatest videos, but uh, anyway. Uh, it kind of shows a little of the camp, a little bit of, of, of the day in the wind and the flags kind of fly, flapping in the, in the wind and some guys standing around. It's just, you know, kind of, I mean, it's, it's kind of quiet, but it's a peaceful, peaceful protest. They're, um, so they'll march around the prison, and um, other people will they'll kind of show up and, and wave, or they'll get out of their truck and introduce themselves to them, to them, and then they're doing a kind of a mock um, confinement. Uh, they would uh, uh, put a volunteer in, in a three foot by three foot makeshift cell that they have out there. You'll you'll see. In some of the videos, and they'll stay in there for, you well, know, however long that they decide to stay in there, however long they can, and they'll do it for so much uh, for donations. If you, well, they'll do it. They, they seem to be doing it, but uh, no matter what. But they they're really hoping to get donations, and so they'll they try to stay in there for for as long as they can, so that they can get as much donations as they can uh, to go to the legal. Uh, defense funding uh, fund for the for the Bundys and the political prisoners. It's a pretty good deal. Um, anyway, I hope other people get involved, and I hope that they will uh, support this cause. Um, the Bundys have a website. I don't. I think if you just if you, if you look up Bundys Bundys Ranch, you'll probably find that website, and that can fill you in on the details. And I think you can donate at at that website. But I wanted to uh, be clear that that camp, when I was out there, it was clean. Um, it was picked up. They had facilities out there for uh, waste. They had their porta potties set up. Um, people were out there in tents and some and trailers and sleeping in their cars and, and I stuff in the back of the back seat of my truck and Anyway, um, um, everybody's doing what they can to do the best they can to support these guys. And anyway, I think it's a pretty, pretty worthy cause. So thank you very much.